Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna see how we can install Postgres. Let's head to Google and type Postgres SQL download, and uh, you'll see the first link. Just click on it, and uh, you'll see the multiple things. And uh, we are going to open uh, Windows. In Windows, we're going to uh, download the installer. The current version of the Postgres SQL is 15, so just click on Download Installer and it will take you to download links where you can find your respective uh, download see I'm gonna download this Windows x86 one so it's getting downloaded it takes a little time so in this uh, here you can see there are documentation available how you can connect to PostgreSQL so the reason why I'm giving the tutorial is we are going to look at all these uh, different um, technologies like frameworks how you can connect to Postgres, right so let's let's run the file i just clicked on open executed it it should it'll ask you for permission to execute the file or not just accept that and it should open the installation right away there you go, it's open. Yeah, there you go, click on next, and then just find the location where you want to install it. Just select all, click next, and then the next, and then this is the password you need for to log into your uh, PostgreSQL admin tool. So just give the password and just leave the default port. Click next. And once you click on next, then it will it'll start the installation. This will take quite a while to install. I'm just speeding up the video. Okay, all done. Uh, if you want this to Stack Builder, I don't think that's required for now. I'm just uh, I'm checking it and click on finish. Once you've done that, if you go to desktop, you'll not find anything, but uh, let's go to start and uh, search for PostgreSQL. You'll find the documentation which are already installed in your machine. So just go click that file and then find the location of the file. So you'll be able to go to the folder where the uh, PostgreSQL is installed. So here you can see uh, PG admin. I just came a uh, folder back and then you can see the PG admin. So this is what we need to open the PostgreSQL uh, admin tool. So just to create a desktop shortcut for this and then just double click it to open. So you'll, it'll open like this. The tool will uh, open for you. And there we can uh, do all them, you know, querying the database, creating a new database, what all you want you can create all those stuff here so let's yeah so here the password which we give with the installation just give that so just click on servers and that you can see the uh, postgresql 15 that we installed just uh, add the password and you can see the database list of database available you can just create your own database let me create right click and create and uh, put the database name let me give this yt demo and then uh, I'll tell you how to change the owner of this database. Uh, I'll let you know how to create it. Let's save it. And then just go to login roles and uh, login group and roles. Just right click and create and give a name. It was the YT demo. I'm just giving you that name. And go to privileges and, and uh, just make can log in enable so that it becomes as a user who can log into you or your database and do the modifications and you can also set the password here i'm just setting it as yt demo again so just uh, demo you okay just save it and then uh, you can go to preference and you can also map the binaries so that you can do plsql uh, scripts here so just update both uh, binary path for EDB uh, advanced server and then the uh, pale uh, PostgreSQL binary path. So both if you update, you can 
that's where the setup ends right so you can just go to uh, your file where the pg admin is you can just copy that uh, location i'm just taking that yep so here this is what the location i'm just copying that and then going back to PostgreSQL admin tool just paste the location and select the folder and select the uh, edb advanced server and then um, i forgot to update um, the plsql see you can you'll get this error let's go back again to the file preferred here again the binary path for the postgresql you can see below there is a binary path that we have to update to select the postgresql 15 binary path that we have in our local just go to the folder and then paste the four same folder again and select it like that and save it now you can do a plsql uh, query tool also and let me go to the query tool and create a table for you and demo that let's create a table for employee with uh, two columns the id and the other is a name so that way we'll just uh, to blank table will create and just query them back the name of a backer see and that's it that's all and then if you query it so query it return the query executed successfully so let's uh, search the same table again we should get two columns with the empty table results so that's all uh, we have uh, successfully installed Postgres in our machine so we'll uh, look at the tutorials on how we can uh, connect to these uh, database and create our data here and retrieve them back thanks for watching the video